Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on Gran Turismo 7. We are back with another daily race guide. So for this one, we are on daily race A at Laguna Seca in the Radical. Now this is a bit of a different combination. It's actually a really fun combination. And I reckon I can give you some really important tips to make you a little bit faster in time trial and also faster in the race because these tips will transfer over to the race as well. So make sure you follow these tips and you should be able to enjoy this combination a little bit more. So yeah. If you do find this video helpful, it helps you out at all, makes you a little bit faster, please feel free to hit that like button. It massively helps me out as I do this for a living. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. So, yeah, let's get on with these tips to try and get you a little bit faster at this combination and enable you to enjoy this track that little bit more and give you, hopefully, some driver rating gain. So, starting the guide, we're going to start off the lap. Obviously, first thing to do, like usual, is try and get a strong exit from the last corner. So, what we're going to show you here, straight away, we're going to do something. Down to first gear straight back up to third gear very similar to the subaru this car avoids that second gear shift now we're not just doing that because of traction we're doing that because this car will lose speed every time you shift the gear so it just enables you to get a little bit better acceleration so first braking zone we are going to look for is the number three board on the right hand side now we're going to break just short of that number three board so fractionally short as we play it now you're going to see there onto the brakes a little bit short of the three board and we're going to downshift through the gear. So you're going to go down to third gear, then to second gear. And we're going to hold second gear until we're getting close to the apex. You're going to see as we about level with that sausage curb just at the front of the car, we're going to go down to first gear. What that's going to enable us to do is take a very tight line through the corner because it's going to rotate the car. And then we're going to go straight back up to third gear in the middle part of the corner to enable really good traction and avoid that second gear shift because you're going to stay in third gear all the way out the exit and carry on accelerating. Now, next braking zone, we're braking pretty much dead level with the number two board on the left hand side. And we're going to keep the car to the left of the track as much as possible before throwing it into this right hand corner. And a little brief downshift to second gear, then back up to third gear again. These little tricks will help with rotation and we'll get a bit better acceleration on the exit. Now, for this corner, again, we're going to use the number one board and we're going to break just short of the number one board. You can see braking inputs going in here and we're going to turn in very early because we want to hit the apex on this really fast right hand corner. You can see I'm going to go early up to fourth gear almost as soon as we throw the car in. That's going to keep the car a lot smoother all the way through and get better exit speed all the way out the exit so again gear shifting very important with this car so next braking zone braking just fractionally past that number three board almost dead level with it you're going to see it as we come to the free board onto the brakes there nice and early then start down shifting because we're going to get this car rotated into this left hand corner now pay attention to through the corner we're going to almost coast once we come off the brakes we're going to let the car coast this is because it keeps the car really stable and gets the car into the apex nice and smoothly and that'll enable us to get on the throttle a little bit earlier giving us a little bit better exit speed up this hill which is really important because it's an uphill section and you want to get as much speed up here as possible so this next corner very tricky you have to be very very aggressive and cut a little bit over the sausage curb. So I use a number two board, braking just short of the number two board. Only a slight bit of braking inputs are gonna go in here and we're gonna really chuck it into this corner. So as we come through here, you're gonna see a tiny bit of braking off the brakes and we're turning in so that we almost go straight over the middle of that sausage curb. Now, it does take a bit of practice, but once you get the hang of it, it is a little bit risky, but you can get the hang of it and get quite consistent at doing it. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, just do the normal line and lose a little bit of speed through the corner. Now we're going to go into the next braking zone. I use the number four board on the right hand side as a reference where I'm going to break. And just as we're about level with it, you can see just about there, braking inputs starting to go in. And we're going to turn while we're braking to the right hand side. Even though we've got a left hand corner, that's because we're going to widen the line into the corner. Then we're going to start turning in as we're going down through to second gear. And again, just as we're about to approach the corner here, you're going to see just before we actually hit the curb, up to third gear. That's going to smooth out the exit speed and enable you not to have to shift on the exit. It's going to keep a lot better exit speed and a lot smoother all the way through. Now, on this, the corkscrew, you want to keep your left-hand tyre on the curb on the left, right-hand tyre on the green bit of Astro on the right-hand side. That's really going to give you the optimal line through there. Just be careful on the exit. The rear doesn't start snapping. Now, on this next part, you're going to break as pretty much as you see that shadow on the right hand side that is your reference i don't really use it i just use it by a visual reference in front of me and you're going to see a tiny bit of braking input going in here and you're just going to let the car almost coast to the inside of this apex that's how i do this corner some people prefer a wider line i like to take it nice and narrow and then you see we can get on the throttle nice and early because we're going to clip that apex almost perfectly and carry good exit speed out the corner now next braking zone we're using that number two board on the left hand side we're going to swing it into that number two board and try and really swing the car in so that we get this right hand corner as 
maximum exit speed as possible. So you can see just breaking just short of the number two board, nice and early. And again, come off the accelerate, come off the brake and then back onto accelerate almost simultaneously. And you're gonna get aggressive on this throttle because you'll, it'll enable the car to rotate and you don't really don't wanna lift off this throttle. You wanna carry as much speed as possible. So hitting that corner quite nicely there. And now we're into the next braking zone, which is the number three board. You're gonna use that as a reference. And again, start braking just before the number three board and aggressively downshift the second gear. Then watch as we go down to first gear for rotation. And then as we're approaching the corner here, you're gonna see I'm gonna go back up to third gear. That little trick of missing second gear out will give you better exit speed out of the corner. Nice smooth as well. Keeps the car from snapping on you and it just gives you much better exit speed from that final corner all the way over to the finishing line. Now we did this lap at about 15, 20 minutes of time trial. So there's loads of room to improve, but I think these tips that I've shown you here should enable you to improve your lap time. So again, we'll watch it from the chase camera without any slow motion, just to show you them tips at full speed. So again, you see, as we go down to second gear, then first gear for rotation, then straight back up to third gear, almost in the middle part of the apex there, where it's a double apex corner, and then work our way out into this next corner. Now, again, you're gonna see that little second to third shift. You can see down to second gear, then straight back up to third gear. Just helps with the rotation. Again, through this corner, we keep stability by going up to fourth gear very early. As soon as we throw the car in, up to fourth gear, carries the speed, and you don't have to shift the gear on the exit then as well. So it just really helps with the way the car behaves. This corner here, you're gonna break just past that free board. You can see we're gonna stay in third gear. Now you can go down to second if you feel it goes a little bit loose but i like to just stay in third gear let the car coast and just keep it smooth through that corner now this is where again if you don't feel aggressive do it like brave enough doing it aggressive like this you can just try and hit that apex without going over the curb and it will be safer but you'll lose a little bit of speed on this uphill section again breaking a little bit early for you on that foreboard and chucking it in and you'll see that up shift the third gear just as we get into the apex and you can just see how much smoother it is through there because we do that and again through here you can see that really tight line that I take through. I do that pretty much in every group that I ever race here. You can take a wider line, but I always like to take it nice and tight on that corner. Again, on apex nice and early and use that exit curb. Try not to go on the gravel, obviously, because you'll lose a lot of speed doing that. And then that final corner down to first gear, then back up to third gear. Using that little trick with the gears again really helps you out with your overall speed. So hopefully... This guide can help you out, improve your time, improve your enjoyment of daily race day. Let me know in the comments if it's helped you out. I'll be back with more guides, videos, race previews and streams. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Bye everyone.